Hello, everyone. How are you? What was the story last week? Yes, Moon invited C. What did Moon tell the C? Moon suggested inviting some friends to dance along in the waves in the sea. So, did C invite some buddies to sing and dance? Shall we go on to the story then? C remembered Moon's suggestion and wanted to invite friends to the sea. C said, "Come here, let's sing and dance with me in the wide sea." Then a few seconds later, the waves splashed and fish appeared. Then another one came, and another one. It's very mysterious and beautiful here, and the light is moving. As the waves move, I'm moving along. After hearing these words, C became more delighted and danced with the fish. I want to go to the sea to hear the story. Oh, well we can go on a trip with pictures together, friends. So let's draw the friends in the sea now. Prepare the material. Today we need some paper. Crayons and colored paper. Let's draw a fish first. I made this long circle in red. I drew the tail in the shape of a triangle. Okay, I'll draw that first, and then I'll draw the face, fins, and gills. I'm not just coloring this red. I want to color it in rainbow colors. Color red. Then color orange. And color yellow. And then color yellow green. Fish is becoming rainbow colored. Then yellow green, and if you color with all of them, you can color sky blue. Then I will color with navy blue. Finally, color with purple. And you can color the tail with any colors you want to. I will color it with blue. Purple. Okay, the tail is all done. And now I've got the black part of the fish here. I'm going to make it darker once I color it all in. Why am I making the pretty colors black? Yes, so after I color it black, 
Wait for it. Are you excited? The more the rainbow colors get covered in black, the better it is. I want this tail to be black. Yes, almost everything is covered. Yes, it's all done. And, okay, now that it's all covered in black, on top of this, I will now draw the facial expressions and gills. Here's our pencil. I will color this with the back of it. Let me try it out. Okay, here's the face part, the body part, and the gills. Wow! And after I scratched it like this, ta-da! The rainbow colors we colored here are coming out. And on the fish, you can scratch a pattern like this. We can draw fish scales with lines like when we color the clouds. With the rainbow colors beneath it, this is a very pretty fish. And there is a pattern on the tail. I will draw it like this. And then I will draw its eye, just one. For the eyes, draw a circle and a smaller circle and color inside like this. This pretty eye is complete. And let's have a smiling mouth. Yes, the fish does not have any fins here, friends. Pick the colors you would like for fins. And draw a small circle like this. Yay, our pretty sea friend is finished. Well, I said we need some colored paper. So, get out the colored paper that matches the sea. This colored paper will show the sea here. How do we express it? I will not color this here today. I'll tear this colored paper with my hands like this. Now, you do not have to tear this straight. Just tear and tear and leave it naturally. Now, I'll tear it in various shapes. When I turn it upside down, it is blue. And it's sky blue when you turn it over again. Now, I'm going to put these here to express the sea. Then, we'll need glue. Let's put this on first. I open the glue and put this part over here. Put glue on the paper like this. And I put this upside down and attach it in the background. And 
and again. I put glue on the blue part this time and put it upside down and paste these over and over again. I keep on pasting like this. can be tilted a little bit like this or you can attach them straight in a row it depends on what you want now there's getting to be more and more I'll tear the darker blue this time tear and tear but you don't need to tear them into squares. It's more fun if they look different. Put it on here, here and there. Put on a triangle. Oh, this is also a triangle. Okay, shall we put it on this way? How about putting some glue on now? Let's put it like this. Yes, and I'll tear it again. I'll tear it up a little smaller this time. Yes, and I will try to attach something like this. Put glue on it and stick it. And so on. And see, this white part is getting filled with these confetti pieces. Yes, how is it going? It's full of confetti like this. Isn't the sea coming together and getting filled up? I'll rip a little bit more now. And I'll put them on with glue and stick them like this. Finally, shall we put some over here? Yes, the fish seem to like swimming in this sea. If you think it is too simple, you might draw some waves with your crayons. Ah, that feels more like it's water. Yes, wonderful. The C has been completed. How was your class today? Today we tore some colored paper, put glue on it, and stuck it to our pictures. Tearing them up wasn't easy, was it? You didn't like it when the paper got torn strangely, did you? But if you practice, you can do well. It's so much better practicing together with our friends here. Then I hope you will have fun with next time. Bye!